inexpensive 4.4 KitKat phone? Check out the Spice Dream Uno Android One. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nish for Tech and Travel, and welcome to another unboxing, come overview of the newest and probably the most competitive priced 4.4 KitKat phones in the market today, the Spice Dream Uno. Now, the Spice Dream Uno is one of the three identical phones that Google has launched with three different companies, that is Micromax, Carbon, and of course, Spice itself. The model is Android One, but all the three companies have given their own names as well. Like Micromax has given the A1, Spice has given it the Dream Uno, and the Carbon has given it Sparkle V. All these three phones are identical in specs, with only some minor changes in the body. By doing this, what Google has done is that the already so competitive mobile phone market has become even more competitive as a decent spec phone is now only, only going to cost around 6000 rupees the android one phones are right now only available in india and its neighboring countries and is expected to hit the american markets in the near future with a price of around 100 to 120 dollars hopefully now coming on to the spice dream uno this phone has quite good specs for the price as I have already mentioned before and is also running 4.4.4 stock KitKat. Plus, because it is a direct phone from Google itself, it is going to get updates as soon as they are released, just like the Nexus series. This phone has 1.3 GHz quad-core processor with a 1700 mAh battery. It has a 4.5 inch display However, it is not a 720p HD display and if you are coming from using a high definition screen phone, you are definitely going to see the difference. It also has dual 3G SIM slots with an onboard memory of 4GB, however only 2.27GB is available to the user. However, the memory is expandable up to 32GB so memory should not be an issue at all. It has 1GB of RAM and it should be more than enough because of, the, of how light KitKat operating system is. Now the camera isn't that great to be specific and the pictures are a bit grainy. It only has a 5 megapixel rear facing camera and a 2 megapixel front facing selfie camera. Plus it also has the usual Bluetooth Wi-Fi which isn't that big of a deal right now. Now, when Google introduced the Moto G a year back for Rs. 12,000, I thought that for those specs at that time, the mobile industry cannot absorb phones cheaper than that and that at 12,000 to about 15,000 was the ideal range. But it seems that the ideal price point as of today is exactly half of what I thought was possible. God only knows where this is going to go next year. Buy one get one maybe? I don't know. I don't think that is going to happen anytime soon. But Google selling its own phones between 6000 and 6500, it seems that at least in the Indian market, the fight is going to be primarily between Google and Xiaomi and maybe at some other company which can afford to fight in this price packet. Well, whatever the situation, we as consumers in the end, benefit without any doubt guys so now before ending this video i will leave you with what others had to say about the spice dream uno so that's all for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it and please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe for more content like this if you have any questions feel free to comment as you guys know i reply to each and everyone so until next video guys, this is Nish saying peace out.